Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at Colourpop's fall collection, which is adorable. It definitely gives me like 90s vibes, which makes me really happy. I also can't wait for fall. Like, it could not come any sooner. I want gloomy weather. I want rain. I want the colors of the leaves to change. Like, I'm all about fall. It's one of my favorite seasons ever. So bring on the fall makeup. Everything in this collection is brand new. Uh, let's just get into it. I'm going to run through the products really quickly, show you guys what comes in the collection, pricing, and all that jazz. So we have six Super Shock Cheek Blushes. I, I really like these blushes a lot. They're beautiful. I actually really like all the shades. I would wear all of these. I believe there are five mattes and there's one more like shimmery glowy blush. These are all $8 each. We have six brand new ultra glossy lips. Each one is $7 and these colors are gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. Like these are very, very pigmented as well. They are not your sheer gloss. They definitely give you a lot of color to your lips. Then we have a beautiful eye bundle, which comes with a BFF mascara, a pencil liner, and this cream gel color pot. Oh my God, the color, you guys. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna look as like a mascara color. I've never worn mascara this shade before but this uh, cream gel pot, I'm looking very much forward to trying out. That bundle is $18. I'm not 100% sure if you could get everything separate. Maybe you can, don't quote me. Last but not least, we have the eyeshadow palette, $18. You have 12 eyeshadows. This palette does come with a glitter shadow in here or a glitter. And you also have a super shock shadow formula, which I absolutely love. These are beautiful, beautiful colors. I am really digging this. I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot. I have already swatched this palette, which you guys will see very soon, but oh my God, so pigmented. These mattes are so buttery and oh my God, like I just, it's beautiful. With all that said, let's jump into wearing some blush because I think we need some color in this face. There are six blushes. Of course, I'm not gonna wear all of them. I did do swatches of all of them, so you guys can see that later, but I'm gonna pick one to wear. I think I'm gonna take Too Cool for School. This color just really speaks to me. And I'm gonna take that on a ColourPop S9 brush. It's kind of like a little dew fiber. I'm going to kind of tap into it. And then let's put this onto the cheek. You could also use your fingers too, but I like to go in with the brush first just to make it a little bit softer. It looks quite neutral in the pan, but once you put it on your cheek, it actually has this really pretty like peachiness to it. I quite like it. Go ahead and do the other side. This blush is actually a pearlized finish, so it does have some sheen to it. I don't have highlighter, so I think I'm gonna just try to use this as a blush topper just to get a little bit of glow on the skin. Hopefully that works out. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm just going to swirl this kind of higher up on my cheekbone. The way I'm applying it specifically is not really giving me a lot of like glow, which is also a good thing because it's not like gonna be something unwearable where it's gonna be too shiny. Oh my god, I have so much blush on right now. Let me let me diffuse this a little bit. We went a little blush happy. We don't have a highlighter in this collection, but of course I wanna wear one. So I'm gonna use the Super Shock Cheek Highlight in Double Down. This is a pearlized finish and I'm gonna take that on a ColourPop F5. I absolutely love this brush for highlighting. And it just, whoa, wow. I'm gonna use my finger to diffuse it. I feel like one of these days I should go back and do like a full face of ColourPop products, like an updated version. Um, I have done one before on my channel, so you guys can look for that if you're interested. But I think a lot of new things have come out, so maybe we'll have to do a new one. As usual, I, do, I don't know what eye look I wanna go for, but all I do know is I really, really wanna use this eyeliner and it's just a beautiful maroon color. I really want that to stand out, so I don't wanna necessarily use too many super, super dark, deep shades like in the crease because I really want this to show up. Um, hmm. I'm gonna start off with this matte peachy brown shade. It's called Copycat. And I'm gonna take that on a really fluffy brush and just buff this into my crease. Honestly, when I just don't know what I wanna do, I just start off with a nice, simple crease shade. <laughs> what is your guys' favorite season? And if you do love fall, what is it that you look forward to the most about fall? I just like the vibe, like the overall atmosphere, the colors of the trees, like the gloominess, like sometimes it rains in LA. You, you don't get that much rain anymore, but when it does rain, I'm a happy camper. This color is very nice. I like it a lot. I don't know what that accent was. Now, I'm gonna move into maybe later. It's a very unique shade. I don't know how to describe that. It's like a dusty, dirty, salmon-y. We're gonna stop there. And I'm just going to place that in the crease as well. Just gonna be layering shadows, seeing where this goes. My birthday is coming up in like three and a half weeks. I'm... I don't really know how to feel about it. I can't say I'm like excited. Like it's always exciting to have like a birthday, but at the same time, <laughs> I think it's getting to that stage where I'm just, 
not looking forward to it as much because it just means I'm getting older. I'm gonna go into this really beautiful maroon shade. It's called Bad Guy. Duh. I'm just using the same brush, but I'm going to stamp this on the outer parts of my crease. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this look with the mirror so far away. I have a handheld one in my lap and I'm not using it. I'm the bad guy. That's literally how it sounds. I'm a musical genius. What can I say? So much talent. I know I said I didn't want to make this look like super intense or dark, but like how can I not use this beautiful color? So I'm going to take a little bit of this with a smaller blending brush and I'm going to stamp this into my crease to really like smokeify this. Oh my god, it's gonna look so pretty. With that fluffier brush that we used, I'm not really adding anything on it. I'm just gonna go in there, sweep it out, diffuse this a little bit. I didn't even tell you guys what this shadow is called. It's called Mr. Brightside. Gotta love a good killer song. Oh my god, this looks so cool. I'm taking the shade Bad Guy on a small little brush here and I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. I'm taking a very teeny tiny amount of Mr. Brightside and I'm just going to Press this on the outer lower parts of my lash line. I'm just gonna stamp a little bit of Mr. Brightside, just kind of on like half of my upper lash line, just smoking it out, adding a little bit more darkness. I'm gonna take that one Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Tardy, and I'm going to pop this in my inner corners, and I'm also gonna put on my brow bones so we get that beautiful brow bone glow. Of course, the finger always gives you the most pigment, but my nails are not gonna fit in there. For the lids, I'm thinking probably maybe this shade. It's called TTYN. TTYN. TT. Talk to you never. I'm going to place this on the outer part of my eye first just to see how this turns out. Ooh, I like that. As I'm placing it, I'm going to kind of diffuse it as I bring it forward, but not like fully coat my lid because I think I might go into the Super Shock eyeshadow and kind of put that on the rest of the inner. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Why do you listen to me even? So I'm gonna bring the Super Shock shadow inwards. You know what? I'm gonna try to use my finger because that's really the best way to do it. Oh yeah, see, look at that sparkle. It literally gives your lid that like wet look. Oh, so dewy. I've also just realized that this is very like school themed. Like with a lot of these names, I guess it makes sense. Like back to school, fall. I think that is it for the shadows. I love it. I think this is freaking beautiful. Now let's get into that liner. You guys know how much I love doing eyeliner on camera. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can on camera and really try not to mess this up but you know half of this is going to be off camera so <laughs> We are back. Since I was all up in my eyes, I went ahead and lined my waterline with the shade Joyride in the pencil form. So for my liner, I actually decided not to do a wing. So I basically just aligned the top and when I brought it to this outer part, I stopped. I went back in with a little bit of Mr. Brightside, the eyeshadow, and I just kind of stamped it and kind of made that blend into the liner. So it gives me more of like this shape instead of a wing. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's gorgeous this liner color is stunning i can't wait to just wear this liner and no other eyeshadow like it's gonna look so freaking beautiful now i'm gonna take the mascara and i think i'm gonna put this on my lower lashes first just so i can see what the color looks like before i put it on the top Ooh, interesting you know what i'm just gonna do all my lashes with this mascara i just figured black mascara might pop off the eyeliner in the back, but this is not bad. This is pretty. I freaking love how this eye look came out. I'm obsessed. The tones, the colors, everything is stunning. Like this is such a beautiful, beautiful eye. I love that super shock shadow. It gives it such like a magical, dewy, wet look. Oh, I just, <laughs> that's good. This one's good. God, I have so many wrinkles. So lastly, we have these six ultra glossy lips, which I am going to be swatching all six on my lips. So let's go.
they are not sticky whatsoever they feel very creamy very nourishing on the lips and these ones in particular are very like pigmented so i mean you can wear a little bit more sheer but for the most part you are going to get some color from these i think five out of six are quite warm peachy toned nudes and the last shade is like this really dark beautiful color i feel like that's like one of my favorites in all six of them the one i'm wearing right now is also my favorite it's like the more cool purpley toned one which i think goes with the eye look a little bit more and it's called crushin and i actually paired this with the lumiere lippy pencil so it kind of just gives it like a more defined look but i'm actually like really obsessed with this lip color combination right now honestly i'm not gonna lie i think this is one of my favorite recent color pop launches and like palettes specifically i think it's such a beautiful beautiful palette with amazing tones that i really really want to rock more often i love the eyeliner as well the mascara is super pretty like it's not super intense where you like look at someone and you know that they're wearing like a maroon colored mascara but it's definitely a lot less harsh than black is so it's a really different option and i feel like these types of colors might make like brown and green eyes like pop out I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, we have a bunch of new blush shades, which are beautiful. And although I'm not always into super pigmented glosses, I do really love these. And paired with the lip liner, it just makes your lips look absolutely gorgeous. They're not sticky. That's a lot of talking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into swatching everything on my arms for you guys. So roll the clip. enjoyed it and found it helpful let me know what you guys think about this collection is it up your alley it's definitely up my alley thank you guys so much for watching as usual don't forget to follow me on twitter messy jesse beauty instagram makeup by jesse if you have not already subscribed to my channel i would appreciate it so so very much and also hit that little bell so you're notified every time i do post a new video with all that said i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>